hi welcome now i am going to show you a uh, number of students who failed uh, uh, more than uh, two subjects that means uh, three or more more than three subjects uh, in a class okay what i have here is i have a uh, uh, student name and uh, uh, each student uh, what is their corresponding uh, English marks, max marks, EVS, uh, EVS is environmental science and language and uh, computer science. Okay, this the marks uh, they scored each uh, the students marks scored scored by them out of for out of uh, 100. Okay, so Alan scored 28, 38, 69, 29, 17, and so on. Okay, now what I am going to do is I want to identify those uh, children who f who failed in uh, more than uh, more than two subjects. At least that means it's more than three three or more than three subjects. Okay, okay. What is uh, what is the criteria which shows uh, whether the mark marks scored is failed mark or a pass mark? failed is uh, we have a cutoff of 35 marks as a cutoff and uh, if, uh, if, uh, if if the mark is uh, less than 35 then it's a fail mark okay so before that what we can do is we just uh, want to highlight that oh, which are all the fail marks here and uh, go to conditional formatting conditional formatting highlight uh, and uh, less than highlight cell rules less than and uh, put uh, 35 less than 35 that means uh, the person the mark is fail mark okay so now there are the fail marks are here is highlighted already in red what I'm going to do is I'm going to count uh, number of children number of children who whose uh, whose marks of failed in more more than two subjects okay if uh, if a child having uh, three fail marks it has to be counted okay and three or more than three okay so what uh, we are going to do is uh, first uh, we need to do a count function to know your child what what is the child's uh, uh, failed number of uh, failed marks okay so failed subjects count okay failed subjects how many failed subjects each uh, student has okay in this case what how are we are going to use this we are going to use count if function count if okay this range all the marks of the student okay and uh, put a criteria count if range is all the marks criteria is less than 35 criteria is the condition which gives you uh, whether it's a pass mark or fail mark we are trying trying to find out how many or failed marks in this case it is th three that is one two three okay so we use the county function to do the counting for the number of failed subjects okay next we drag the formula and before that you you need to know whether it is the excel is doing shifting the pro pro uh, formula properly properly or and uh, relatively okay this is zero is shifting properly and uh, so i auto fill everything and uh, you can know that now failed a number of subjects Okay, failed number of failed subjects. Number of failed subjects. Okay, now uh, what I am going to do is uh, 
we need to know how many of uh, uh, three or more than three counts there okay so what number of children children uh, children having thing at least at least three failed subjects failed marks okay so now i am going to uh, do the number of children having at least three failed subjects equal to now count uh, okay now equal to count if now you count this one all the number of failed subjects okay you put uh, that one as the range and the criteria is now it is less greater than or equal to three three and more than three is need to be counted the other things not okay three children okay how I will also put a conditional formatting and see whether it is correct. Three and this is greater strictly greater than two. Okay. So okay now you see it is a uh, three subjects and uh, number of children having at least three failed marks is three okay this way you can uh, do those at least conditions or at most conditions okay so so this uh, example will help you to do the uh, those at least uh, in a set of range okay you will have at least uh, number of children uh, failed at least in three subjects or uh, number of children who scored more than 90 okay in uh, three or four subjects or who scored a plus something like that those kind of things you know that at least those kind of or at most or uh, those uh, uh, those kind of thing within the range matrix or uh, within the data set you can use it count if and count if will give you the the answer okay so this way you can also use those color coding and conditional formatting will help you to show you how to proceed on the answer whether the answer is correct or not okay uh, i hope this video is helpful to you if you like my video just uh, click like also subscribe to my channel and uh, you leave the comments on the comment section so that uh, we will know whether uh, which way i can improve in my videos and also if you have a diff uh, any particular problems to be solved also you leave it there i'll try to solve the problem and um, we will see you on next video god bless you